Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is a random math problem under algebra. Actually, nakita ko lang to sa online na medyo trending siya at this problem is under MIT entrance exam in algebra. So we have here the problem, reduce the fraction in lowest terms. So given this fraction, as you can see, this one is algebraic, we have x to the 6th power plus a squared plus x to the 3rd power y over x to the 6th power minus a to the 4th power y raised 2. So for us to, to solve or to simplify this problem, we need to incorporate factoring techniques. So if you're familiar with different factoring techniques, malalaman mo agad na magkaibang technique ang gagamitin mo sa numerator at sa denominator. So focus muna tayo sa ating numerator. For the numerator, as you can see, common yung ating x cubed. Meaning, we will use here, what we will use here is that we will use common, common monomial factoring. Yun yung gagamitin natin sa ating numerator. And for your denominator naman, we will be using difference of two squares. Now, for the common monomial factoring, simply naman yung common monomial factoring, we will factor out the common monomial factor. And as for the difference of two squares, remembering yung ating pattern for the difference of two squares, if you have a squared minus b squared, we can factor out this expression as a plus b times a minus b. So try natin gamitin yung common monomial factoring at yung difference of two squares in simplifying the given problem. So scroll up lang muna tayo ng konti. So we have here x to the 6th power plus a squared x cubed y over x to the 6th power minus a raised to the 4th power y square. So, try muna natin gamitin yung common monomial factor in dito. And sabi ko nga sa inyo, the common monomial factor is x cubed. So, what we will do here is we will put x cubed outside the parentheses and we create tayo ng parentheses dito. And x cubed divided x to the 6th power divided by x cubed that will give you x cubed. Plus, ito naman, when you divide this term to x cubed, that will give you a squared plus y over your denominator. Remember, eh, yung x to the 6th power natin minus a to the 4th power y squared is under difference of two squares. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is to factor out that denominator, since ito ay x to the 6th power, kunin natin square root niya, and that will give us these two parentheses, x cubed, and then this one is also x cubed. And then for the second term naman, ng ating denominator, which is a to the 4th power, y squared, that is a squared, y, and this one is also a squared, y. Tapos, syempre yung pattern natin, look at the pattern, kailangan magkaiba sila ng sign. So, it's positive or negative, negative, positive. So, we have here positive and negative. So, as you can see, sa ating numerator, comparing your numerator and your denominator, we can eliminate this and this. And, yung magiging sagot natin is simply x cubed over x cubed minus a squared y. So as you can see, in simplifying algebra expressions, it is important for you to know or master the different factoring techniques na magamit mo para ma-reduce mo ang isang fraction into lowest terms. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gorn. 
Marami marami salamat. Bye bye.